Welcome to video number seven in the Photo Voice series. Some people have asked to remain anonymous and have asked me to do their voiceovers. We respect their request. I am a person who has been able to put aside an unhealthy dependence on alcohol. I have also supported people I work with, friends and family through various types of addictions, including drugs and alcohol. I have been juggling a lot of responsibilities for quite a while now. I am a frontline worker helping people through many kinds of challenges in their lives. At home, I was taking care of a loved one who became ill quite suddenly. I was helping my loved one through not only the illness, but the adjustment to not being able to do as much as before. On top of that, I have a family member cycling through addictions. It affects me and it affects others in the family. Taking part in Photo Voice helped me to reflect on what was happening and to talk about my experiences. The first picture I took for this project is one of windshield wipers. They were going back and forth, wiping away the rain. That's exactly how I feel sometimes with everything that comes at me. I'll feel heartbroken and cry. Then I think, okay, I've dealt with it, but then it returns. Like the wipers, I wipe it all away and I feel good for a little bit. Then the rain comes again and it brings up all kinds of feelings and emotions. It's stress, I guess. After that first picture, it was difficult for me to find other images to show how I feel. So when different feelings kept going through my mind, I started to write them down. I made this collage that captures a lot of what I experience. I fear late night phone calls or knocks at the door. There are times when I feel hate and anger because of what the addiction has done to our family. Now and again, I feel it's my fault. I hear others around me getting into frustration and blame. Sometimes these feelings come at me from all sides, in my home, from my family, and even from people in the community. It's almost like people don't understand I'm giving my all to handling everything and judgments don't help. There are times when I feel hopelessness and I want to walk away. Occasionally when the day is over, I feel like I can't do it anymore. Then I wake up in the morning and somehow I'm able to face the day and do it all over again. Maybe it's because while I'm sleeping, my body and mind are recharging. Mostly it's because my grandma always taught us, you've got to help family. Family is important. She didn't just tell us that. We watched her doing it over and over again. Because she taught us by example, it became a part of us. There are other ways in which I find the strength to keep going. When I go to work, I'm able to focus on what's going on with other people. I'm able to help them find a better path forward and to reassure them to keep trying. As I hear my words of encouragement to them, I realize I'm in a way saying that to myself. In helping others, I am helping myself. I was once told that I find strength in water, so I make time to go and sit by the lake and just watch the water. I get a sense of calm, peace, and it gives me time to think. I also love to create. I do crafts. I feel happy making things for others. I like to help others feel happy. When the weather is good, I'll go on a road trip. I especially love to go to powwows. The drum brings me a sense of peace. I find that when I'm in a peaceful state, my intuition kicks in and ideas come to me. All of these things keep me going so that life is better for me and for the people around me. Miigwech. When the spirit moves me, I become the voice that speaks of love and peace, truth and joy, and I can change the world.